So now we have a f the first few commands. Uh, we don't have any responses for that. So we could either go through and on each command tell it to do a certain response, or we could write a new command and uh, that would allow us uh, to push them both back uh, and give us a little bit of a randomized response. So we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, so this is going to be the confirm request, right? Uh, and we actually don't want to have any audible. Now this needs to be filled out. Uh, I'm going to call it confirm request and give it that description. Uh, and on the categories, we'll just call this um, system functions uh, for the category. So system functions, confirm request, uh, and we'll do a specific thing. So first of all, we're going to set an integer, right? And we're going to have it be a random value from 0 to, let's say, 10. That'll give us uh, a few options. OK, and we're going to save value. Uh, this one we're going to call random, so the variable name there. So it'll be a random from 0 to 10. And we'll not save that. So first of all, we get a random variable. And we're going to do advanced. And we're going to begin a conditional block. So we've got an integer named random. And we're going to say if random is less than 2. right? So if we're at 0 or 1. We're going to do this thing. We'll leave that blank for now. It's going to add an else if integer random is less than 7, right? So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's a pretty big block there, but we'll just see how that works. We'll actually go for 6, bring it down a little bit. And then we're going to do other, uh, add another else if. And random is, and actually we could just say instead here, uh, else. So we know if it's less than two or if it's less than six, uh, it'll do those things. Otherwise, it'll do this last thing. And just to even it out a little bit, we're gonna we're gonna say if it's less than three, six, and then everything else. So what to do within each of these? So I'm gonna say say something with text-to-speech. So we'll have the system just say here, um, of course, right? and we can preview. OK. And we'll copy this, plug it in there, and say, as you wish. Okay, and we'll get a third option here. Yes, sir. Okay, so there we have it. Uh, we'll get a randomized response of either of these three values, and of course, you can uh, you can apply this concept multiple times. So let's see how this looks as we actually execute it. So. We have our walk forward or move forward, and we want voice attack to execute that command. So confirm request, and it'll happen after. We'll go ahead and add that into the move forward as well. So execute another command, and we'll give it a try here. forward move forward three spaces walk forward forward seven spaces and there you go